Hey what's up everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna see how to create a custom over animation, a double custom over animation on Webflow. It's an effect that we did on our website, Espy. And here we're gonna play with different notion on Webflow. Uh, we're gonna play with over animation, of course, absolute fixed position, relative position, uh, also anchor points and scale effect. We're gonna see all this in this tutorial, so let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do first, it's the animation of the text. So it's pretty easy. For this, we have our button. It's a div with inside a text. We're gonna give to this button a relative position. Like that, we can add inside this heading in. In relative also and this one that will first appear like this we will give an absolute position like that we can move here and after we just need to do an animation like this of movement so let's jump directly in webflow and see and see what we can do so we have our button big here and inside a heading heading button big so what I'm gonna do it's duplicate and add my text but as you can see I don't want that my box become bigger so what we're gonna do it's to add a position relative to my button the parent like that I can give a, uh, an absolute position so I had a combo class is absolute and I give up an absolute position I also gonna give a class is relative to this one and give a relative position here I give a relative position of one a relative position, an absolute position of two, like that, everything is set up. So now let's animate the button. To animate the button, I select, of course, button B. I'm gonna create an animation, mouse over animation, just on desktop because they just hover on desktop. And I start my animation. I'm gonna call button over let's give double dash over in and for that i'm gonna select the heading button b and give you an animation of move just on the um, on the relative one after I select my absolute, give an animation of move also. I put them together and we're gonna set up our position. So for that, I take the relative one and I'm gonna give a percentage of zero because the initial state, let's set it as an initial state. The register one is at, the register is at the, the right place but the to the next one is not at the right place so let's say minus 200 percent let's say 300 percent perfect let's give 400 percent 450 percent for be sure and like that is perfect also important let's come back to my button but important that as you can see an overflow hidden like that if I come back to my animation you can see that my button big is uh, the heading in absolute is hide because it's outside of the button this is super important so now I just need to do the animation I duplicate and to the register I'm gonna say now you move off minus 400 percent and the the heading button in absolute you say you come at zero percent 
And now if you see the animation, this is working well. Now let's spice it up a little bit the things. Let's give a, a curve to our animation in outquart. And we have something better. Let's give a duration of, well, let's say one. And we have something more interesting. Let's maybe add 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Yeah, perfect. And that's it. Our animation is almost done. Now we just need to do the animation uh, when we leave the bottom. So we duplicate the first animation and instead of call in, I call out. And I take off the second step for just leave the first step. I uncheck the set as an initial state because we already set an initial state on the other animation. So we, you can't have a double initial state because of course there's just one initial state. And that's it, they are back in the position and let's give a duration like of 0 0.8 in out quart. And if I check, my animation is working. And now the second step, it's gonna be to create this animation of all this webflow icon when we over the button. So it's a second animation. So for that, we're gonna create a wrap, a wrapper that will be in fixed position. And inside we will add all our icons. And after what we will do, it's create an animation when we over the button that make first appear the wrapper and after scale every icons one per one. And of course, at the end, we will need to add a little custom code for something that we will see when we will create the animation. So let's jump directly into Webflow. So let's create a div block that we're gonna call wrap, wait, wrapper icons. We're gonna give a fixed position that take all the width, all the height. And we're gonna give, for be sure, uh, 200 Zen index position. Just for C, if we had a, if we had a background, we can see that this uh, div is above everything. So this is good. I can reset that. And now I'm gonna add inside all my icons. So I just add an image inside. And I'm taking my icons. And for that, I'm gonna give a class and call icons. I'm checking the position. And now I'm gonna start to give a size. So for example, let's say 20 rem, 20 rem. Perfect. Okay, so this one, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven icons. That's it, we have seven icons. So now what are we gonna do is add a combo class and give icon is one. This one icon is two. So that's perfect. Also, let's don't forget because it's gonna be over uh, animation, we already can hide the wrapper on other device, just keep on desktop. So I'm back here and now I can start to 
give a position to all my element and also give a, a size. So let's say that this is the this is the final uh, position of my elements. So let's start by this one. So it will be the one we're gonna give an absolute position stick on the left top corner let's give to the wrapper i mean yeah that's good and now let's play with the ram so i say 4 i always do like this 4m 4m and after i'm playing manually so this one perfect uh, let's give a 10 rem 10 rem mm. so now i just to play with with the numbers 15 15 yeah perfect And the last one, this one, actually the size is good. I just we need to set the position to have something like this. So that's it, our element are set up. So this is perfect. So now we can start the animation. Let's just give to my wrapper icon, also for to be sure, an overflow item like that we are sure that there is no problem and that the, the our page is moving because some elements are out of the page this is important so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select my button b and create another over animation on the class button big just on desktop because it's an over animation i start my animation and i'm gonna call uh, icons over in and for that I'm gonna select all my icons and gonna give an animation of scale so that's it I have everybody and now I'm gonna give an initial state to everybody and as you can see we have icon 1, 2, with the combo class 4, 5, we have everybody. So now I can select everybody and set as initial state, this is good. And the initial state, it will be 0. Now I duplicate and the final state will be 1. So okay, this is cool, but it's the animation is not really beautiful because everybody is at the same speed at the same time. So first, let's give maybe more duration. Zero. Let's say one for the things that time. We ease the curves with a in-out quart curve, and for we start to have something better. But what can be cool is to select some elements and give a different delay. Let's say, for example, 0 0.2 for some, 0 0.4, and now it's better. We have a different speed. Maybe we also can have different speed. And let's say to this one, 1.2, this one maybe 0 0.8, another 1.3, and maybe this one. Mm, and let's see first. Mm, I think the duration I need to put. I need to give more. Finally, I'm gonna give everybody because it will be easier. Or maybe not need to be. It's now that you need to try. Let's say, and if you try 0 0.6, hmm, little bit violent. Let's say 0 0.8. Hmm, still violent. Let's keep one. Mm, 
Let's keep one and let's see, because I think it will be nice to do something and maybe change the anchor point. Let's see what it changed. So now I leave my animation and now I'm going to select my icon and change the anchor point. So for this, I need to go in transform. And the goal is that every icon starts from here, like explodes. So to this one, I'm gonna say yeah, the origin point is here. To this one also. To this one left top. To this one like this. This one like that. Same for this one, let's give something like this, and to this one, something like this. Uh, now let's back to our animation. We preview, and we have something more interesting, something who looks more like an explosion. So that's it, we have our animation. You can also spend more time and dig more, but I don't want that the, the, the video will be too long, so I, we're gonna stay like this. Now we just need to create the animation when we over out the button. So I just duplicate the over in animation, select all the second parts of the animation, and now I select all of this, Uncheck the initial state, give a duration of one, and in out quad. And same, let's give a different delay uh, to disappear. So, for example, this one 0 0.1, this one 0 0.2, this one 0 0.3, and that's it. And let's see what, what's up. Now this is the load of my video. And as you can see, this is not working. Why? Why it's not working? Because the point is, my wrapper icons is uh, have an index of 200. So it means that is going above every content. So it means that I can't click on my button. So that's why I need to add a little bit of code. That's it's if you use our style guide, it's already inside the CSS embed. And up you go here, and you can see if you add the class here, clickable off, it will um, it will make that the element will not be clickable. So for example. Or if not, if you don't use our style guide, you just add this piece of code, which is nothing. So now we're gonna have this class on our element, clickable off. And you will see. Now if I click, if I try to click my button, it's impossible. But I choose my wrapper and I have the class clickable off. And now you can see my wrapper is, is like it doesn't exist. And now I can select my button. And now, it's working, we have our animation, the two animation, the text, and also the bubbles. And that's it, was not super complicated. And we have something really nice and, and different than what you can see on other websites. Thanks for watching the video, hope you like it and you try to do this effect at home. Uh, if you have any question or if you want to see another effect on Webflow, if you like the video, share on social network, uh, press the like button and subscribe to the channel and I see you on the next video. Bye.